Have you ever wondered how geography might influence a continent's economic status? The relationship between geography and economic prosperity is a fascinating one. It's an intricate puzzle, with pieces ranging from natural resources to climate, from topography to accessibility. Economic prosperity often blooms where these geographical factors align harmoniously. However, this isn't always the case. Take Africa, for instance. It's a continent teeming with a wealth of resources, a mosaic of diverse landscapes, and a cradle of vibrant cultures. Yet, despite its natural richness, Africa has found itself grappling with economic hardships. It's a paradox that's puzzled economists and geographers alike. Why, with such abundance, does Africa struggle to prosper economically? Could the answer lie within its geographical makeup? Is there something about Africa's geography that's thwarting its economic development? These are questions that have intrigued scholars for decades. So what's going on with Africa's geography that's impacting its economic status? Let's delve into this complex and intriguing geographical puzzle. Africa is a diverse continent geographically speaking. This is a statement that rings true across every stretch of this expansive landmass. From the sweeping dunes of the Sahara in the north to the lush rainforest of the Congo Basin, the arid plains of the Kalahari in the south and the towering peaks of Mount Kilimanjaro in the east, Africa is a melting pot of geographical wonders. Each region possesses its own unique characteristics, shaping the lives of the people who call it home. The Sahara, the world's largest hot desert, is a vast sea of sand and heat, where life has adapted to survive in some of the harshest conditions on the planet. Yet even here we find diversity, from the rocky plateaus of Algeria to the sandy dunes of Egypt. Then there's the Congo rainforest, the world's second largest tropical forest, teeming with life and rich in resources. It's a vibrant, breathing ecosystem that provides a home for countless animal and plant species. The Congo is a testament to Africa's ability to sustain and nurture a diverse range of life. But let's not forget the savannas, those iconic open grasslands that stretch across much of the continent. Here in the realm of the lion and the elephant, the baobab and the acacia, Life exists in a delicate balance, shaped by the cycle of wet and dry seasons. And then there are the mountains, from the rugged Drakensberg in South Africa to the snow-capped peaks of the Atlas Range in Morocco. They are the continent's silent sentinels, standing tall and proud, shaping the climate and providing vital water sources. Yet, this diversity, while offering a wealth of opportunities, also presents a set of unique challenges. The stark contrast between desert and rainforest between mountain and savanna, creates barriers to communication, trade, and development. It makes the delivery of essential services like healthcare and education more difficult. It influences where people can live, what they can grow, and how they can move. This geographical diversity, while rich and beautiful, presents a unique set of challenges for Africa. But these challenges, like the continent's geography, are diverse, and they require diverse solutions. But that's a conversation for another scene. Africa's geographical challenges are no small feat. Imagine a vast continent, rich in resources, yet hampered by a complex mesh of geographical hurdles that stand in the way of its economic development. Let's start with Africa's rivers. While they are a source of life, they also pose a significant challenge. Many of Africa's rivers, such as the Congo and Zambezi, have a series of rapids and waterfalls that make them tough to navigate. This lack of navigable waterways hinders the establishment of trade routes, slowing down the pace of economic activity. Moving on to the deserts, the vast Sahara stretches across the continent, creating a barrier that isolates countries in the sub-Saharan region from those in the north. This isolation impacts trade relations, cultural exchange, and the sharing of ideas, all of which are integral to economic development. The tropical regions of Africa, although lush and teeming with biodiversity, present another challenge, disease prevalence. The warm, moist climate is a breeding ground for disease vectors like mosquitoes, leading to a high prevalence of diseases such as malaria. This not only affects the health of the population, but also impacts productivity, as a significant portion of the workforce may be incapacitated by illness. Moreover, these geographical features can lead to a lack of infrastructure development. Building roads, bridges and railways across deserts, around waterfalls and through disease-prone areas is both costly and technically challenging. This lack of infrastructure further impedes trade and connectivity, stifling economic growth. 
The geographical challenges are not merely physical barriers but also economic roadblocks. They limit the mobility of goods and people, restrict trade, and impede the spread of innovation and technology. These geographical hurdles have had a significant impact on Africa's economic progress. But it's important to remember that these hurdles are not insurmountable. With the right strategies and interventions, it's possible to overcome these challenges and unlock the continent's full economic potential. Overcoming these geographical hurdles is not impossible, but it requires concerted efforts. Imagine for a moment, a continent where improved infrastructure has made transportation not just possible, but efficient. Picture roads that stretch like veins across the landscapes, connecting remote villages to bustling cities. Envision bridges that span across treacherous rivers, linking resources to those who need them. This is not a dream. This is a possible future for Africa, a future that begins with better infrastructure. Now let's talk about disease control. Malaria, Ebola, and other infectious diseases have long been the bane of Africa's progress. But what if we could improve disease control? With advanced healthcare systems, effective vaccination campaigns, and robust public health education, we can curb the spread of these diseases. And then, there's the potential for innovative solutions in trade and agriculture. Imagine a world where drone technology is used to deliver goods to remote areas, or where vertical farming practices are adopted to maximize agricultural output in regions with limited arable land. But these solutions aren't just about technology or infrastructure, they're about people. They're about empowering local communities, fostering homegrown innovation, and nurturing the entrepreneurial spirit that is already so vibrant across the continent. So, yes, Africa's geographical hurdles are significant, but they are not insurmountable. With improved infrastructure, better disease control, and innovative solutions for trade and agriculture, the continent can navigate its way towards a brighter, more prosperous future. With these concerted efforts, Africa may well overcome its geographical hurdles. Geography is a powerful force that shapes economies. The diverse landscapes of Africa, rich yet challenging, have influenced its economic development in profound ways. From vast arid deserts to fertile river valleys, each region has its own story to tell. Yet despite these hurdles, solutions exist. Harnessing resources, improving infrastructure, and adapting to the environment can transform these geographical challenges into opportunities. The story of Africa's economic status is indeed a geographical tale.